The beat stops as our bodies move slow. I'm sitting here thinking about the way that I should go. Up, down, no, round and round. For some reason, we cannot be found. The perplexity of this situation is driving me insane. I'm losing my grasp on the factuality of this reality and which calls my name. Pardon me if I lose it or brace for time. I just realized that I have to face this twisted mind. Of minds, your minds, our minds, rewind back to that moment in time we shared the divine. Seductiveness of your sweet caress while trying to digress from your sexual poke, no stroke. And I hope that with this feeling, I can cope. I noticed your stare when you glared and when you whispered, come here. You didn't know that you'd be meeting me tonight. And I bet you didn't know that I'd make your soul take flight. Take note on how I float and I guarantee that you'll feel this boat rock. <laughs> Flish, splish, splash, I'm soaking wet. Drip, drop, I don't want the rain to stop. You see, when we rock, we lock together. This stormy weather is only the first level. Let's be naughty and get a bit kinky. Did I make you nervous with what I'm serving? Well, let me get you to go deep in my deep end. I've been thinking about spankings and blindfolds, but I was told not to let all my dirty little secrets unfold. But you got me anticipating the immaculate perception of two expeditious lovers lost in a fictitious dream state for that moment in time. Which moment? This moment. I'll condone it if you own it. Show me that you want it and watch how I jump up on it. Your specialty is in your length, but within is where your strength comes. When I come, we come together intertwined like four feathers. So because of my mind, your minds and our minds will rewind as we brace for time with our twisted minds. In the beginning, it was sweet. <laughs> we never fussed or fought. We were good. I still remember our first date like it was yesterday. You talked, I listened. I talked, you listened. We laughed, we played. <laughs> Damn, I really enjoy those days. It seemed like everything was good, and I have to admit that it was until all of your secrets began to surface and I became clearly misunderstood. You held things that held great weight, like the kind of people you chose to date. You see, some people would say it doesn't matter, but when it's the same sex, they just couldn't fathom. The pain I had to endure from you to me, I was hurt, but you still couldn't see. I didn't walk away, clearly I did stay because I thought to myself, who am I to judge? this man. But I should have been smarter and stayed on my marker because now the pain is deeper. Deeper to seek her, no, deeper to seek her, 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 and him. Yes, all of them. But yet I am clearly misunderstood. You changed my heart in the way that I loved. You changed my mind and you know what I find? I find it interesting how you tried to blame me, but I wasn't the one who put a gun to your head and made you jump in those sheets. Now, don't take this as me putting you on blast, but at this point in my life, <laughs> you can kiss my ass. I was there for you when no one else was. I gave you every part of me, but clearly I was misunderstood. I don't care how you feel after reading this hell. You might even disagree with this, but you will see with this the pain I've tried so hard to dismiss. All the lies, the cheating, the degrading, and disagreements. You were wrong. You were dead ass wrong. So do you understand me now, the reason I seek attention elsewhere? Do you understand me now, you made my life so unfair? Do you understand me now, am I coming out clear? Don't turn away, simply look me in my face. Do you understand me now? I cheated for you, I lied for you, I cried for you, I fought for you to understand me now. So tell me, do you understand me now? Think back on all the pain and put yourself in my shoes. Would you accept all the pain that I accepted from you? You've made your choice. Yeah, you made it quite clear. You've answered my questions and I thank you, my dear. Understanding myself is understanding you, but before you understand me, you have to understand you. Do you understand me now? <laughs> Listening to you about who understands who. We've been down this road, and yes, I understand you. It's true that I hurt you, but this time I need you to see. 
What happened to you is now what's happening to me. In the beginning, yeah, you're right, we were good. Even then when we were fussing and fighting, you screamed you were misunderstood. All this shit about understanding you and understanding me has become a bit ambiguous. Don't you agree? No, don't agree with what is real. You've only agreed with what's been instilled inside your mind because you can't figure me out. And if you take a look back, you see there was no doubt. I loved you harder than you thought you loved me. But hell, all you were concerned about was who was jumping in those sheets. Would it really matter if magically you could figure me out? No, because even then, you'd always have a doubt. When I'm right, I'm wrong. When I'm wrong, you're right. I refuse to have to continue to fight that fight. Yes, I talked to other women and I did my deed. But with all that, you still didn't understand me. So since we're here now, no, we're here now, and it's time to lay all our burdens down. No, don't walk away. I wouldn't want this message to miss you. Bitch, look my way so all these words can kiss you. Stop dwelling on my past because you went there. And stop sitting here claiming that your world is so unfair. So take this tissue and wipe my words off your face. I wish you the best in life, but I can't determine your fate. I cried today because I knew I wasn't over you. Although I wanted us to be so bad, I knew we were through. I must admit the fact that I still love you, but this here is something I just can't do. No matter how hard I try, I can't seem to shake you. You were once my everything, but I guess this is merely what love does. It captures your mind and takes your soul, and truth be told, this shit is growing old. I'm confused. You see, as I gaze in the perplexity of my broken thoughts, discombobulation of the things that were taught, taunts my mental in ways that were so complex, yet I look around and wonder what's next. Not what's next for you, but for me. I know I have to get my head right so I can be free from everything that connected me to you because even with all my love, you just couldn't be true. As you can see, this shit is ruining me. All these years of marriage, I carried the burden of deception and mistreatment. I can admit I was deep in, but yet you have the nerve to be on the defense. You cheated, I cried. You lied, I realized that knowing my worth means defining who I am. I am a woman with goals, ambitions, and dreams, but you are a man of secrets, lies, and schemes. Keep doing the things you're doing, eventually you'll grow up to see that what we had is gone now because I have no reason to hold on to something that's not worth more than me. She was his jump off with high intentions, calling his girl, causing all kinds of friction. He looked down at her with no intentions of giving her more than what she thought she was worth. Instead, he gave her the thought, treatment. I'm going to show you how this works because from the look on your face, I could tell that you're hurt. And what's worse, I don't see how you thought that being a thought would put you first. You were check number two, not one. Again, let me say number two. He had no time to talk. He just wanted to make it do what it do. You were never sex in the morning after he finished yawning, but sex at night because at home, shit just wasn't right. You thought you could feel her shoes, but you were sadly mistaken. And all the love you thought he had for you, sorry, boo, he was badly faking. Saying that I love yous and miss yous, I tried to warn you, but let's admit the fact that this is just what some men do. If you keep asking him all those questions like who you've been with, understand that those words come off as hard as cement. Just watch how he gives you the thought treatment. Thoughts only made for one thing, not someone of copious things. They're just a fling. If you had your head on right, maybe you would see that coming in second shouldn't be on your peas. No, not peas. I'm talking pet peas, but clearly you still don't see. See, it's thoughts like you that try not to claim this. Hold on to this thought. Thoughts. You will never become a main bitch. If you haven't heard of her, then let me explain this. It's about time you show respect to his main chick. I mean, she is the one who stuck with him through all his shit. So thought, sit right there. I need you to hear this. When you see her, don't look her in her eyes. And when he holds the thoughts, don't act so surprised. Just in case you happen to let your head rise, be sure to act appropriate and civilized. Don't think I'm being mean. I'm just trying to warn you. The main chick is fierce and her wrath will scorn you. So be careful not to panic and stay in your place. Because in the main chick's position, she's liable to punch you in your face. So when you think in your mind that you can take her place, be mindful of the game that you chose to play. Not everybody wins in this game of sin. You reach the end of the road. It's called a dead end. Now, do you see how my simple wordplay shook you up? I don't need you to look down. Thought, look up. 
there's no need to go into great bereavement. I just need you to understand that this is the thought treatment. <laughs> Men, let me inform you. I didn't write this poem to be cruel. I didn't write this poem to try to tell you what to do. We all have a choice when it comes to who's loving who, but let me explain this commonly broken rule. I wrote this poem to demonstrate the pain that a woman feels when what's real doesn't add up to its name. The internal thrill that she got when she dreamed of happy endings and blissful things, but in the blink of an eye, the thought becomes obscene. When you met her, you told her all the things you wanted to hear without thinking that those would be all the things she wouldn't feel. Your lies only proves the mere fact that after one lie comes another, it was all just an act. She believes you with little to no doubt, but then you turn around and rat yourself out. Years have flown by and you've taken her through hell, not realizing that all she ever wanted was what was real. A real man who loves, honors, and cares. She wants to be submissive, but you refuse to play fair. Must she turn the tables to give you a dose of your own medicine? Must she become contemptuous because of her love you've embezzled? Monsters are created every day. We all have a choice, but the one you chose to portray was merciless towards her heart and ruthless to her soul. And if you don't change your ways, take note on how this story will unfold. To my woman reading this, I'm sure you wouldn't disagree with this. There is no need to dismiss. We've come too close and this could be the deepest. We are stronger than what they think. But within us, we have to be in sync. Not in sync with him. His light is extremely dim. But become one with him who sits high and looks low. Didn't I tell you that this story would unfold? God has given us a strength to endure. Just take a look back and see how you've matured. Your mind is clear and your future is bright. And with that diminishing stress, you will be all right. So count your blessings and just be still, because within us, God has instilled the strength and the power to move on in life, knowing that this battle was his to fight. Hold your head up high, my love. It is true that they say time flies like a dove. And if you ever find yourself feeling as though you are bending out of shape, remember that God made us to bend, not break. So take this poem as a token that that could have been you, almost broken. She was the baddest chick around getting that cash. With all the men watching none stopping tongues out while the drink strip dropped. But for what? She thought to herself as she paced back and forth on the curb. Was this the life that she deserved? No, sir. This was the life that she served. The curb began to shiver and the ground began to shake. She fell onto the ground trapped in the middle of an earthquake. She closed her eyes and played her goodbyes as her life began to play before her eyes. Now it was time to realize the pain she tried so hard to demise. Fatherless child, he didn't care he wasn't there, so what man should she fear? A mother's dismay, never knowing the real image of what a woman should portray. Flashes of being a child lost in the world, tricked by little girls who hated her. Grown men degrading her, misusing her, abusing her, sticking their private tools in her. She didn't know what they would do to her. Now she's in possession of a corrupted mind, twisted as the clock rewinds, back to where it all defined her. Her reasoning for growing up unkindly. Her attitude was beyond rude. She was nude, but the men didn't care as long as she knew how to move. Drunk and nice, dirty sex. She knew she had to make some arrangements. The money was good, but she understood that there was no way she was going to make this. Take this for what it's worth and make some arrangements. This is what you call not knowing a woman's worth. It's time you rearrange it, but until you obtain this, let me explain this. Quiet is kept, dark secrets get out. You stuck in a closet with dirty laundry at some point, you gotta air it all out. As soon as that door opens, the skeletons are falling out, and that's all it took for you to understand what this bad dream was all about. Hugging my pillow tight with tears that won't seem to go away. I find myself speechless with no words left to say. It was on that day my joy was taken away. How could this have happened when I didn't get the chance to say? I'm sorry I wasn't there as much as I should. But now that I think back, I really wish I would. Have picked up the phone just to see if you were okay. But here I stand. But yet you've gone away. Now that you're gone, there's nothing left to say. But just know that I love you in every single way. You brought happiness into my life without a doubt. But now that you're gone, I just can't figure this out. I've realized that I can't take back the hands of time. 
But if I could, I would just rewind back to that day we shared our first laughs. I would have never guessed we would be on this path. So now it's time to say goodbye. But let me just say, God has claimed the best angels in the skies. I don't see you watching me, but I know that you're there. And although I'll never understand it, sometimes this life just seems so unfair. I have to go now, but I want you to know that you'll be with me everywhere I go. Sitting here watching the ways of the world, lost in a trance as I watch my brothers curl, in a knot if he's not the vision of what they see. Pardon me if his looks may be deceiving, but how could you tell if he's lying down bleeding, not breathing with bullets to his chest and neck because you chose not to come correct? Take note and detect the ways of the world. My message is not subliminal. It is clear that the law is set up for you to be a smooth, smooth criminal. What caused you to be so cruel, taking the life, interrupting and rude? Silent cries, weary eyes as you sit back, not accepting cash back for your liberal lies. But when will you realize that it is your actions of retraction from the truth unforetold, embracing your power to devour at any given hour the very black souls, young and or old? Who told you that you had the power to determine who lives or dies? The world is already broken. How can we be unified when you continue to divide? Are we that intimidating? Is it that frustrating that as a race we have the ability to generate the necessary power to demonstrate? Wait, let me talk to my people and whom I never neglect, but let me resurrect the truth. This truth may come off as hard, but I am determined not to let you all fall. I dare you to pick up this card. This message will start from the beginning, so pay close attention to how I'm about to dig in. Get your mind together and stop fighting your brother. Stop leaving your kids fatherless with only a mother. This lesson of how to live starts from you. So stop blaming other people and do what you need to do. Clearly, this life isn't easy. It's definitely not fair. But how can you bring the face and escalate the crime against one another to your own brother or sister? Listen, listen, Mr. Mister. When freedom reigns, freedom reigns on everything, even the unforeseen. If you believe that together we can accomplish anything, then grab your brother by his hand. But don't grab a vice grip with a vice grip and leave his head in the sand. See me? I believe that with God, we can achieve the freedom that is destined to upsurge. But when you get the urge to beg for a change, you should not look away when your brother is calling your name. Each one, teach one, be one to accept the reality of this perception. I'm not saying to sit back, relax, or fall back, but before progression comes deception. You must accept the reality of what has come to be. Then get strategic and become unified. Let nothing divide and watch how it all solidifies. Black men and women, know your strength. You are more powerful than you know. Grab each other by the hand and help each other grow. A woman's empowerment. Do you know what that means? Did you know that this was a powerful thing? There are many things that combines all that intertwines a powerful woman in a divine substance. A woman born into a corrupted world that forces its hands down on little girls. For years we've pushed, fought, and strived to break through, and no matter how hard we tried, nothing seemed to do. For years it was only about catering to husbands, cooking, cleaning, and raising kids, but it's 2015 and that non-catalytic era has come to an end. Our new deed still contains all of those things, but supersedes the expectations of an average woman in the making. I'm taking you back to the way things were, but I'm sure you see how times have matured. Back then, our heels weren't as high, but now we're stepping in power, striving to devour any untruthful thought left untreated by the truth. And anything that doesn't measure up, we have the ability to make it go poof. Stronger than ever, like an Olympic gold medalist, we hold the torch. Like a voice stronger than ever, like Nicki Minaj's many personalities. My truth is in this reality. We've come to collect our royalties for our loyalty. Because without us, this world would have no movement of improvement to circumvent the struggles in life. Men wouldn't know what to do with it. We're the intuitive balance of light. For a man, a woman's empowerment is unreachable. Never allow a man to make you feel unteachable. Be encouraged to seek guidance and be agreeable that you have a power that's inconceivable. So hear me out loud and please stand proud. You have every reason to walk with your head up high. Your stature, your breed, your mind intercedes for that great woman you are destined to be.
Looking at myself in this broken glass, thinking long and hard about all the time that has passed. I'm hypnotized by this mesmerized state of mind that I find as I watch the pieces of time define that broken person that I've grown to be with all this pain that's hidden beneath me, yet no one ever cared to see that I've become a victim of this pain and grief. You see, I've agreed to disagree that my victimization in relation to the agitated thoughts of distraught has corrupted my life to the point that I might pick up a knife and take my life. I thought maybe that would solve my problem. What problem? This problem, the problem of being an individual with a broken situation, with a broken explanation of how I got to this point in the first place. And let me explain. This broken situation caused this broken relation to this broken citation of death that was detrimental to my health. Could I really do this? Would I really do it? My thoughts looked into it, but God wouldn't approve it. God changed my mind in the blink of an eye, pulling all the pain that I held deep to the side. And all I had to do was abide by his rules, using his tools of guidance for my deliverance from all the things that became a hindrance. He told me to steadfast and be patient. There comes a point in time when we have to wait when everything is displaced and nothing seems complacent. So no matter what, I'm waiting because God's mercy and grace is the only thing that saved me from the person I used to be. Now I can say... I'm finally free.